Have a little look at that hulk. No, no, I love them. I've had one for donkeys. I love yeah. it. Yeah, love it. I want like an oyster flex there, Tom. I think. Yeah, I've got yeah. that. I've been there. Do you know? I'm just, I'm just not a huge fan. Who the fuck is that guy? I don't know what Kieran's been smoking, but how can you not like this watch? Do you know what? I'm going to be very controversial here in general. I'm not. I might say this on camera. Do it. Do it. We've had a f mega month. I mean, I haven't even totaled up, but I, this morning driving to work, I was thinking I'm going to total up already, and I don't normally do that because I like to wait for the month to finish. But. Well, this is the thing. January's a 31-day month, and February's a 28-day month, so you're always going to, you're never going to have as good a month. But the good thing about February is then you get March, which is another 31-day month, mm -hmm. so March should be amazing. And also in March, with all the hypes, it's going to be great. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you, this game is just, no matter what anyone tells you, it's constant and it's regular, so... I don't really care, you know, I don't care if it's a good week or a bad week. I know that if it's a bad week this week, it'll be a good week next week. And I think also, like, after what we experienced during COVID, where it was just hype, 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 and you were selling, like, 10 kettles a day, now, you know, even if you're only selling 10, 10 today and 6 tomorrow and 3 the next day, it doesn't matter, you just sell them watches. Make sure that they're good sales, make sure that they're good clients. Grateful and thankful for the fact that our business has been around long enough that we've got through the shit storm of 2022 and 23, and hopefully, it continues in the way it is doing and we're busy as ever. We've just got that in, which is a nice blue kit, flat blue. A lot of people don't appreciate how good a watch that is. A rugby player coming in now to buy a Hulk. And I think he's going to part Texas Sky Dweller, so that'll be good. I think Jay's already got the, bl the blue Sky Dweller sold, so that's a nice little back-to-back -back deal. Not a massive fan of rose gold, so I know a few people who will be watching this immediately will be going, oh, love rose gold, but for me, I just, I'm just not a huge fan. Who the fuck is that guy? I don't know what Kieran's been smoking, but how can you not like this watch? It's rose and it's blue. Possibly the best configuration of dial colour and, and case material that you can possibly get in the watch world. When I see this watch, I'm thinking about Patek Philippe Nautilus 5990 Travel Time Blue Dial. I'm thinking... Vacheron Overseas 6000V with Turbion, rose, blue dial. I'm thinking AP, Royal Oak 26331, OR, rose, blue dial. It might not be as complicated as those pieces, but it's definitely up there when it comes to looks. Put it on the wrist. It's a 42mm case, as we all know, with the Sky Dwellers. And it weighs in at a staggering 251 grams, which is heavy. But think of the gains, you know? Every cloud. It is a heavy watch. It will wear you out. But my God. God, it's beautiful. This is a 2024 piece retailing on our website now. It's live now to be purchased at 54995 When it comes to rose and blue pieces at that price point, it's way under the likes of the 5990s and the 26331 ORs. You're getting a hell of a lot of watch for the money. Definitely one of the best releases of the 2023 releases from Rolex. Um, and it's nice to finally get it on the wrist and see what it's like. For me, it's a game changer of a watch. Will it also open up Rolex to releasing more rose and blue pieces? I'd love to see a rose blue Daytona. I would love to see a rose blue day date. So maybe this is the catalyst for that. So again, for me personally, this watch is an absolute belter. As always, give us a like, give us a follow, give us a subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are on this watch. For me, it's a 10 out of 10 out of this world. So 2018. Oh, 11661 OLB. Still very sore after. Oh, it's getting people asking for the hook. Just making a full set of customers coming in. Hook's quite rude, to be honest. It is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's quite rude. 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 Yeah, just, it just happened. Yeah, yeah the, the love of the the love of the sport. That was there, I can imagine after playing rugby, you're coming back with all kinds. Real man sport, man. Come on. Yeah, no. I love me football. <laughs> yeah, love me footy. You, you need to support Liverpool, then, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 oh, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have a little look at that hulk. No, no, I love them. I've had one for you donkeys. I love yeah. it. Yeah, love it. I think I've had one since about 2007, 2008. 
I'm glad um, you like it. Um, staple piece, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong with them, can you? Yeah. Actually, probably the one watch has probably not gone up as such, but they held their money pretty well. Yeah, you think that's because it's being discontinued? Obviously? Yeah, and also because they didn't bring out another one. They brought out the yeah. Starbucks, obviously, but they didn't bring yeah. out another one. Oh, that's class. The lads in your team, all into the watches and stuff. Yeah, there's quite a few of them, to be fair. That's how I got into it, really, at one of the places. Wigan. Yeah. Um, he used to come in. I was only a young kid, and he'd have all. He actually had this. And one. you got used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. I kind of like when I started getting some some money saved up. I was like, right, so right. that's been on your list. Yeah, this one I wanted wanted this for a long time, but I tried to like get them for like milestones. Yeah. Like I won the grand final. Or, yeah. This is what I like about this is 2018. And yeah. That was my my last grand final. One was 2018. Nice. So when you win so the next one, what are you gonna? Hopefully this year. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna go for? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I want like an Oyster Flex Daytona, I think. Yeah, I've got yeah. that. I've been there. Really Do nice. you know what? I love it. We had the one. new model. You know, the, this is on. The, you know, they do the new model. That's the old yeah. model, but they do the new model. We had that last week. Sold it pretty quickly. Yeah, and yeah. absolutely yeah. amazing. So that's the next one, is it? Then? I think so. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to. Really nice. So. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You do get sport for choice with Daytona, yeah. I think. You can also get rose chocolate in that model. Yeah. Uh, which is actually a good buy because because you know we talk about discontinued they haven't bought a new chocolate out yeah. I don't know you kind of need to see the new models though because I think the new models kind of when they're in your hand you kind of go you know what I prefer the new model yeah. like, I think Rolex have done something good with that new model but they look a bit more sharp a bit weighty that as well isn't it yeah considering it's on a rubber yeah. strap yeah uh, Good to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, it's good to finally meet faces and uh, instead of being on the YouTube. <laughs> Glad you watch it and like it, mate. No, I love Thank it, you. mate. I'm always watching. Thank, Thank you. Much. Appreciate it. So, this is the Rolex Sky Dweller. This is 18 carat Ever Rose Gold with the blue green dial. One of my favourite leases from last year. Absolutely stunning watch. I say that about every watch really. I need to start reading the thesaurus. Update me terminology. There's been um, a few opinions of this watch. I think the colours go well. Some people might not really like it. Me? See for me I can appreciate the quality of the watch. I can appreciate the blue and the rose gold combination together. I'm just not a huge fan of rose gold. I, I like yellow gold so obviously maybe that's why. Each to their own. Mm. You and Bobby love it, I think yeah. Johnny and I think Lee. Bobby loves it a lot more than I love it, to be honest. Mm. Bobby really loves it. I like it. Well, obviously, we're splitting opinions here in the office. I'm not a huge fan, the boys are, but let us know in the comments. I know a lot of people will be a big fan. You know what? I'm going to be very controversial here in general. I'm not. I might say this on camera, actually. Do it, do it. To be honest, not only am I not a massive fan of Rose Probably Gold, not. I'm not actually a massive fan of the Sky Dwellers in general. So that might be why I don't like it, to be honest. Auctioneer. <laughs> Auctioneer goes, mate. So, uh, how's the auction going? It's going quite it's well. Hard, yeah. It's going good. It's uh, a lot of interest. Just Things sold that Parve DD. We sold, we sold loads. But it's, I'm slowing it down now a little bit because I want to build the numbers now a little bit more. It's another outlet, isn't it? It's just another sales outlet. The thing is with the auction is we get offered that many watches, it's just a nice way of being able to facilitate a deal without actually having to take a watch on consignment. You can't buy everything you're offered, can you? So if we're not buying it, we might as well try and make it. But it also brings a new way. like um like a new breed of clientele to us because you're gonna see things Jordan's. like IWCs and more like cartes that we don't tend to deal with a lot. You'll see that kind of people once we start listing them, that kind of people will come to us to buy them and then it eventually allows us to then branch out and start selling things like RWCs or Gerald Charles's. And right now it's all positive when it comes to the auction. I'm going to start putting some of these Amigas in. 